Blood, Lord, hide me under your blood.
praise this morning? What's the highest praise this morning? Let me hear it one more time. Let me hear it one more time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. Hallelujah. Born, born, born again. Thank God I'm born again. I am born of the water, the spirit, and the blood. Thank God I'm born again. I am born of the water, the spirit, and the blood. Thank God I'm born again. Born, 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 born again. Thank God I'm Oh, I'm evil. 
Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We exalt you this morning, mighty God. Not of ourselves, nothing that we have done, God. But God, your mercies and your grace, God, have kept us, mighty God. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for your mercies. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, brethren. So good to be together with you one more time under this blue and white tent. Uh, we just want to say thank you, those in, on the internet watching. We thank you for tuning in Sunday after Sunday. And the Lord has a blessing in store for you. Stay tuned right now as our pastor, Garfield O'Daly, greet our visitors. God bless you. Praise God. Come on, we praise the Lord, everybody. Can we praise the Lord, everybody? This is group three, right? Come on, group three. Can we praise the Lord? Put your hands together and give him a clap offering of praise. What a good God. What a great Savior. What a mighty God he is. Amen. If the Lord, if you know the Lord is keeping you, what is it that you are to worry about? Didn't say that you mustn't have concern. Didn't say that you mustn't, you know, put things together and in place. But the truth is, if the Lord is keeping you and he has his hands on you, you really, we really have nothing to worry about. And we really want to make that song real in our lives. I'm so very glad this morning to greet the household of faith, those in the sanctuary. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our King so very good to see you all the members of group three good to see you and i observe again that we have quite a number of spaces so it appears that because of the spike in covid amen what happened at the earlier stage is happening again but i also know that even during that period when folks stayed out and nothing is wrong with that there were others who would come and um, nothing is wrong with that also in fact we love when we gather together so we have gone through group one and group two last week today it's group three and group four and what I am seeing so far indicate that a couple of folks could have still come on in and it's I'm, I'm talking about those who really wanted to be here could have come so we are going to watch what happened in group four group four is normally the big group you know and we are going to see what happened at 10 at, at 11 30 and then after today when it starts over again when the rotation begin again next week sunday which will be group one and then group two we might invite a few others you understand what i'm saying because the space is here and it, it doesn't make sense folks want to come and uh, you know can't get to come because we were rigid in sticking to the group we did that because we wanted to make sure that we don't breach the protocol but we are not going to be in breach once we maintain the social distancing and we do the necessaries in terms of sanitization and so forth so let us see what happens at the 11 30 service and then we will know what will happen next week certainly it will be group one and two but we might just relax it a little bit even as we maintain the government protocol we're not going to be in breach of that sister Marsha. we're not we'll miss it not even by one cheer and if we invite others to come on and they do come and we find that we're going to be over we all understand that if a few of us have to go back and folks understand and they have made up their minds for that so amen so can we work together with that amen 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 so god is a good god but i greet every one of you in the house i greet all the saints that have joined us from your different homes the churches in your homes and you have joined us um this morning we are not live as we know but it will be uh, beamed later on and i greet you in jesus name the lord bless you Good to have all the saints. 
then I also want to greet every visitor. You are here this morning and you're a visitor. We are always delighted to have visitors in our midst. And I'm going to ask if you're a visitor this morning and you're here, or if you're online and you're a visitor, let me first greet the online visitors and can I say to you, the Lord bless you real good. It is always a pleasure to have anybody joining us in worship, joining us at the Faith Chapel of the Faith Apostolic Ministries in worship. And we say, God bless all of you online. Thank you so much. And then for those that are in the sanctuary this morning, are there any visitors here? Let me just, just tuck your hand up. You're here and you're... Amen. In fact, don't just tuck your hand. Stand up. God bless you. Stand up and remain standing. We want to see you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, put our hands together some more as we make welcome in the, in the house our visitors this morning. The Lord bless you real good. So very good to have you. Delighted to have you in our midst, in our presence. And we say, the Lord bless you real good. If you have not yet surrendered to the living God, you're in a good place. In fact, you're in the best place to do that. And can I tell you, God, the living God, is already here. And you better believe that. So we are in a good place. Come on, we put our hands together. This one for the sweet Holy Ghost who is in this place. Can we magnify the Lord by putting our hands together? Give, can we give him a standing ovation? Everybody, can we stand up and put our hands together? And give our great God a standing ovation. He deserves to be worshipped and to be praised and to be magnified and to be lifted up and to be honored. And we bless his great name. Praise God. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. And since you're standing, since you're standing, since you're standing. Amen. You know me already. I was going supposed to say something else, but probably later on I said that part. I don't want. So there is an old chorus it says I'm bound oh Lord for higher ground seeking a city sister Joyce you see I, I tell everybody when you go start off service this kind of way you know you have to just make up your mind for it to kind of continue along a certain flow but I'm bound for higher ground I, I want to be there I want to be in that number. And you know, the more we sing about heaven and about the home of the soul and that, the more we sing it is, the more it kind of generates a, 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 an, an intensity inside of us to push and to be determined that we are going to make it. Are there any determined people in the house this morning that it don't matter what come? And you, you know, I feel that I can say that obstacles come in our way almost every single day it don't mean we're going to fall down every day you know, but you can fall every day but let us say you fall every day you know what I have found you said the person whose mind is so made up that because some folks when them fall down after them comes up and it come in like it's too much you know what happened you don't see them in church again you have some folks where they fall down and it seems to be so bad and they assess the situation. Guess what happened? They don't come back. And they, 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 they walk away from God. The, the heart of backsliding, it, it, it's deep, you know. But sometimes people assess the thing and say, I can't go anymore. But I have found that the person who sometimes them come and you normally see them at the front. I learned that when I see some folks come and you see them sit at the back. And you know that they're normally at the front. Leave them and start to pray. Because sometimes they wouldn't come. Because of some things that they might have gone through. Or some things that they might have done. But when they stay home. Something f is fighting on the inside. And they say how can I stay away from the house of the living God. I know that I might have done it. And you know what happened them come. But them sit down in the back. And then I look at. A week or two after you see them come, two more spaces, them come a little bit nearer because they are trying to get back to that place where they were. You know what that says? That that individual is determined no matter what. Don't turn your backs on nobody that you see sitting in the back. It's, it's pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. And I've learned that over the years. 
pray for them their minds are made up and so i believe that everyone in the house this morning everybody you're serious and you're serving god it doesn't matter what you're encountering i just feel that it is your desire to make it when he comes and if that is so just lift your hands anywhere that you are if it is your desire to make it when he comes lift your hands and look to heaven and just bless him bless the name of the lord bless the god of heaven bless the rock of your salvation he is able to keep you know unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless did you know that jesus can help us if we dare to trust him and i encourage us whatever it is you keep holding on to jesus and you keep pressing and you're gonna make it sister bolton sister dennis you know you can't make it sister clark you know you can't make it brother daly you know you can't make it i know i can't make it sister trudy you know you can't make it i am telling you it doesn't the door is open for everybody and if we miss it it's our fault and so i encourage all of us let's fight be brave against all evil so the what does the song say i'm bound for higher ground i'm bound sister joyce are you bound for higher ground yes you are saints of the most high god to my right are you bound for higher ground yes you are saints over here are you bound for higher ground i know you are somebody shout a praise to the most high god if you're bound for higher ground shout a praise again if you are bound for higher ground glory to god come on we sing Play. I can't remain in this holy way. I'm bound for higher ground. I'm bound, oh Lord, for higher ground. Seeking a city with a heavenly place. I can't remain in this holy place. I'm bound for higher ground. I'm bound, oh Lord, for higher ground. Seeking a city with a heavenly place. I can't remain in this holy place. I'm and circumstances bounding us we can't afford to remain here we can't afford to remain in this land praise the lord everybody we want to encourage our brethren to hold on to jesus hallelujah him 280 praise god hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus oh i'm so sorry m82 82, sorry. M82. I'm a home prepared where the saints are. Thank you, Jesus. 
the Lord one more time. Can we just lift our hands and worship you, our God Jesus. this morning? Thank you, great God. Hallelujah. He is worthy. He is awesome. He is high and lifted up. There is no God like unto our God. You know, I stand here this morning and I just want to give the Lord thanks because he's my source of strength. He's my hope. Amen. He's my friend. Amen. He's my deliverer. That's right. He's a God that never fails. No matter what you go through, and I have experienced it, no matter what you're going through, God is able to keep us if we just rest in his arms, Praise if we just God. trust in his word. And I walk each day trusting the word of God, knowing that he promises that he will never leave, neither will he forsake. He's Praise a God, God who stands by his promises. And I'm hurting this morning because of the loss of my mother but guess what i know that my god is all sufficient Hallelujah. i know that my god Thank knows all Jesus. things best yeah. and whatever he does is well done and i am settled in my heart and in my spirit that this Thank god you, does what he knows best and i am comforted in the love of god praise god praise god sister sorry Just over in the glory land, I'll join on, the happy angels band. Just over in the glory land, just over in the glory land, there we the mighty host has been. Just over in the glory land. Bless the Lord one more time. Praise you know, God. I praise just want to give God thanks. Um, COVID might be negative, but trust me, it is also positive. Because COVID allowed me to search myself during my time when I couldn't move from Spanish Town to come to church. I can't go nowhere else except just in the vicinity that I am living in. I don't have anybody around me other from calling on the phone and all of that. And I recognize that living for God is a personal relationship. You can encourage me, but it left up to me and my heart Amen. what I want to Amen. do with it Amen. towards God. And I just want to encourage us that despite of what is happening, there are so many things that is happening right now and we have to just keep focus because um, the Bible said that it is going to come like a thief in the night. God not going to come when we with fasting and prayer and we just full out with the spirit. And no, I'm going to come a time when we think not. And I just Please want to God. encourage everybody, despite of what is happening, let just, let's just keep focus and look up because our redemption draws at night. 
Praise God, praise God, hallelujah. Just over in the glory land one more time as we invite the ushers just to come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just over in the glory land. Mighty God, we thank you for your love. God, we will thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your grace, great God. And this morning, God, we have worshipped you, God, in singing, in worshipping, God. And now time's come, God, for us to give, God, to you, God. I pray, God, that we will give from our hearts. I pray, God, that we will give from the recesses of our souls, God, as it pertains, God, to money. I pray, oh God, we will give our offering, we will give our tithes, God, without reservation. Mighty God, we thank you for your love, God. We still have an office that operates, God. We still use electricity, God. Everything that calls for the bills to be paid. And so this morning, God, I pray that none will withhold, God, what is due unto you, God. God, you have asked us to give God our intent, God, of our earnings, mighty God, to you. And I pray, God, we will do it. And our free will offering, mighty God, I pray that, God, wherever we are this morning, God, that we will not hold back, God, but we'll give unto you. We're not giving unto the pastor, but we are giving unto you, mighty God. So bless this morning, God, as we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. At this time, sister. Small will minister while the offering is being collected. Can we praise the Lord, everybody? Can we praise the Lord one more time? Can we just lift our hands all over this sanctuary? Can we bless Him? For He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. My days are filled with laughter. My heart has known your peace. I've traveled far, still there is far to go. In my heart there is a longing to look upon your face and where you are, that's where to be
yes he did John caught a glimpse of the golden throne Tell me all about it Go right on around the throne He saw the crystal sea There's got to be more What will it be? I want to go to the city he saw New Jerusalem
Hallelujah. I wonder if I could ask the church to stand at this time. And as you stand, stand with your hands lifted. Oh, glory. Yes, yes. And as you stand with your hands lifted, could you open your mouth and let something come from it? In praise to God Almighty. Send up, release some praise and worship to the Most High God. Because He is worthy to be praised. He is the, the great God. Yes, that's who He is. And He deserves our worship. He deserves our praise. This, to this end where we created to worship the great God of heaven. Somebody lift your hands and don't, don't put them down so quick. Wave them across from left to right and, and just glorify God for his goodness to us. Isn't he a great savior? Isn't he a great God? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And he deserves to be worshipped. He deserves to be praised. And we magnify the great God. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your hands and glorify God. What a great Savior He is. What a great Savior He is. And He deserves to be worshipped. Glory to God. 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 We bless the Lord. Amen. Somebody won't you praise the Lord right now. Amen. A good God he is. A faithful savior. Wonderful counselor. We magnify the Lord. It is just about 10 a.m. And we declared that we would have been wrapping up at 10.30 and therefore we are going to be introducing the speaker at this time um i i wanted to just inject however because deacon martin two sundays ago had indicated i told him to wait a little bit but you when we look at the screen on our television or, or on our phones we observe that the quality of the picture every now and then it tends to go off it looks a little bit pale it's not the strong rich focus that we are accustomed to and it is because the two cameras that we have they are is that am i right to say they are going they are going and um we 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 normally when we got those i believe we just pull from the resources that we had that we got from our tithes and offering and we got the cameras years ago it might be a little more difficult this time to do it that way for obvious reasons and so the deacon martin who is the head of the media team indicated that he wanted to ask church to assist us so i wouldn't make him come because you know it's as if i would have been pushing him up and so i decided to take his advice but i would do it and so i really want to ask as many of our saints we're going to take not today because i want to give you an advance notice but we really want to take up an offering and those who are watching from overseas because we are actually going to purchase the camera overseas i understand that each camera is about four thousand dollars and uh, yes not four thousand jamaican dollars um but four thousand if it was four thousand jamaican dollars sister you know we just two people will run come up before it came out of our mouth sister bolton and sister Cla sister dennis and sister clara could just wrap it up for us but it's not four thousand jamaican it is four thousand us and i don't want to because i might not know but probably two other saints could run come with four thousand us as a seat here going to buy the two cameras so it pays to throw it out so i am throwing it out to our membership 
I'm throwing it out to the wider community. It is two cameras that we need, uh, and they're about $4,000, so that you're talking about $8,000 in US. And we are trusting that in very short order, we can acquire those cameras so that we can get back to the picture quality that we have been accustomed to over the years. The Lord bless you. I will go no further. It is my privilege, it is my delight to invite to come to this podium this morning to minister to us a young lady. Um, I know her and I know that she loves the Lord. She, she, she was one of our home Bible study teachers and one of the what you would call the faithfuls always at it sun rain hurricane whatever she would be there and if there is one student to teach she's going to teach the one if there is a hundred students to teach she's going to find the time and make the way to teach 100 and she's always faithful and it is my delight at this time to invite to this pulpit to minister to us I know that she can do it in 15 minutes or 20 because we're gonna wrap it up at about 10 30 we generally don't like to limit but given what is happening I know she can and so it is my delight at this time to invite a young lady that loves the Lord none other than sister Lorraine Dockery. Can I ask us at this time to receive her in the name of the Lord. Come sister Lorraine and minister in Jesus name. Praise the Lord everybody. Praise God. It's just a privilege to be in the house of the Lord. Praise God. I just want to take Quick, quick time out to greet our bishop. Greet you, sir. I greet the musicians. I greet the choir. All God's wonderful people, I greet you in the precious name of the Lord. Let's stand and open our Bibles to Matthew 26, verse 39. It's just one verse. Praise God. And it said, and he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but, that, but as thou will. Praise God. Sir, you will want to pray. Praise God. Father. We come before your presence, your great presence again, and we thank you for this privilege where we can sit and we can listen and we can rejoice in hearing the words of the living God being expounded to us. I pray right now that you will touch every heart in this tent. I pray that you will touch every heart that are tuned in from across the world there will be a word there is a word for every heart if the preacher speaks for five minutes or if the preacher speak for 20 minutes whatever the duration there is a word for every man I pray that you will open our hearts and let the word find that place in our hearts I pray that you will help us to digest the word and then to live accordingly. Therefore, mighty God, rest your hands upon your servant right now. Anoint her specially for the task and help her to speak and to speak as the Lord will and would direct. Have your own way. Let your will be accomplished in the house right now. Let your spirit move up and down this place, move up and down across the airwaves and bless abundantly and let your perfect, perfect will be accomplished in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, 
Amen. 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 Would you please be seated? Praise God. Sister Marsha, I want you to help me sing this song. Not my will, but thy will be done. Pray Jesus. Praise God. It's not my will, but thine be done. Great Jesus, let this save be mine. From the scripture the passage of scripture i just read you know it's a simple theme it said the will of god praise god Hallelujah. i want to tell you that the will of god is just simple the plan that god have for humanity when you go back in the book of genesis it tells you about creation and god has spoke things the elements into being, let there be light, there be the stars, no, no, the trees, the vegetation, everything. But when it comes to man, God come down and he formed man from the dust of the earth. And he blew into man the breath of life. Praise God and man become a living soul. I want to tell you by doing that, God have a plan for mankind. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to tell you that when you go over, man, God has a plan that man should be multiply, replenish the earth, you know, subdue it, dress it, and keep it. Praise God. But here you find it in chapter 3 where the devil tried to impede, I said tried, praise God, to impede or block the plan of God for humanity. But I want to tell you that the devil cannot block the plan of God. Because his word shall not return unto him void. But it must accomplish with several it's set forth to do. And it must prosper. Praise God. So there the devil think he has it. I'm going to disrupt the plan of God. I'm going to cause man to come out of the garden of Eden. But it was a perfect plan of God. Because... Even though man left the garden of Eden, man was still multiplying and replenishing the earth. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to tell you that when you look in the Bible, when you read the Bible, you will understand that God never runs short of a plan. He always have a man. He always have a man to carry out his will. And up to today, day, today, today, even today in this service, his will must be done. Because he has a plan. Someone might be here that needs to hear this word. So my God, he, I tell you, I know it's the will of God for me to be here. 
Because I never laid for church. And this morning I'm late. And when I reach the foot of the, almost the foot of the hill, I leave the Bible. We have to spin around the car and went back for the Bible. And I'm saying, God, I know that this is your plan. I know it is your will. My God. But let me tell you something. The devil cannot impede the word this morning. Because I'm here standing and to declare the word of God. Praise God. You know, I want to just quickly say that throughout ages coming down, God would have used individuals to carry out his will. Praise God. When you look at Joseph, Joseph was a type of Christ who his, he represents Christ in his suffering and glory. Praise God. I want to tell you that the will of God, it's not smooth sailing. It's not that you get saved, you got the Holy Ghost, and all is up and well with you. No, no, no. The will of God is the opposite to what you think. Sometimes we are going through some sufferings in our individual lives, and we think it's a devil. No. That's why the Paul got the revelation in to the Thessalonian church. He said, in everything, give him thanks because it's a plan of God for your life. Praise God. I want to tell you that whenever time you're going through your wilderness situation, begin to give God thanks. Begin to ask him, Lord, what lesson in this for me to learn? Because I read it, I understand that you have to suffer because Jesus himself suffered at Calvary. It was a great suffering, which of we can take any lashes in our backs or any nail in our raw hand if like a fire burn us, we, we jump. But he went through that, all that because there's a will and the will of God was to redeem mankind from the clutches of sin. I just want to tell you that whatever you're going through, that you're going to come out victorious. You might not see on the other side as yet, but all you do, pray and ask God for endurance and understanding. Lord, what is in this? Why am I going there? Sometimes you don't even have to ask why, just go. I remember the songwriter said, Lord, if I could clasp my hand in thine, nor never murmur, nor repine, content with whatever lot I see, still this God hand that lead me. Sometimes you're going through the will of God and some persons don't understand it. That's why you're not too quick to cast judgment because you don't know what has happened to that individual. Praise God. Job was a perfect example with his friends. He must have done something bad for God to deal with him like this. But Job got the revelation. He said, you know, though I know not the way he takes, but though he tried me, I shall come forth as gold. I want to tell you that you're going through your situation. It is the will of the Lord. Praise God. I want to tell you that your ultimate goal is to do the will of God. Praise God. I want to tell you that in the end, I heard the singer singing New Jerusalem. You want to get to New Jerusalem. You have to be in the will of the Lord. Because I read it in Matthew. Verse 7, 21, it said, Why not everyone that said, Lord, Lord, shall enter? But he that doeth the will of my father praise god hallelujah i want to tell you that you earn as a content for the will of god in your life seek for the will of god in your life oh my god the flesh would have you pulling on a smooth sailing road but god gently leading you through his will and you have to be up and down oh my god i paul felt it you know he said in off oh god i suffer shipwreck i am hungry oftentimes he been afflicted oftentimes but it is the 
will of God for Paul's life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory. Jesus. You are awesome. Praise God. I want to tell you, I'm running back to Isaiah. Isaiah caught the perfect revelation of the will of God. That's why he was able to pin it and said, you know, in chapter 53, he said, but he was despised. He was rejected. Smitten of men, we hid our face as if we knew him not. Praise God, sometimes we go into some situation according to the will of God. And your own friend will want to look at you as if they scorn you. I'm telling the truth. I've been there. I know. I know what I'm talking about. But I want to tell you that he said he was despised, he was rejected. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Verse 10 said, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. Praise God. If it wasn't for those bruising, then you and I would be standing here, lifting our hands, worshiping God, giving all the glory and all the honor. Praise God, because redemption is in his plan. And there's a greater plan. There's a greater plan. Bridging, there's a greater plan. It's to be with him. Because he said, I go to prepare a place for you. And where I am, you will also be there. In my father's house. There are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place. That when I come, I come and receive you. Praise God. Brethren, it's a simple word. It's a will of God. Seek to do the will of God. Because nothing, it doesn't matter what you do in your Christian walk. The Lord declared it in Matthew chapter 7. He said, not everyone that said, Lord, Lord, is going to enter. But he that doeth the will of my Father. It's very important for us to do the will. So if you're not sick, if you're not understanding what you're going through, just go and pray, Lord. Let your will be done in my life. Sometimes we want to do our own thing. And it causes us pain, misery. But if we just humbly do and seek after the will of God, You'll be surprised to see the glory behind it. Praise God. And these are my few words in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, praise God, praise God this morning. We have heard from the Lord this morning. And whatever his will is, we are here to fulfill it. Our ultimate goal, as was mentioned earlier, is to be with God. His ultimate will is for us to be saved. We are here this morning, brethren. Let us not let that rapture miss us. Let us live within the will of Almighty God. Whatever our circumstances, let us hold on to God. Shall we stand this morning? Lift our hands this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, mighty God. Let's just search ourselves. Let's just search ourselves, brethren, to where we are with God. Let us see where we are. Sometime our situation, we may believe that it's the devil, but the Lord is perfecting us. As long as we know we are living for God, God is working in our lives. Hallelujah. Just shut in with him for a few moments. Search me, O oh God. Search me, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. What's your purpose here today? What's your purpose, brethren? 
the word went forth from the throne of Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Brethren, let's draw closer to him. Let us embrace him. Not our will, but his will. Hallelujah, you're here this morning. And you don't know the Lord. He wants to know you. He knows you as a matter of fact. But if you want to know more about him, our altars are open just now. If you just want to come forward, being social distancing. Hallelujah. You need prayer this morning. We are here this morning with arms wide open to pray on your behalf. Anyone this morning, you need a word, you need a prayer, you need prayer, a situation, a circumstance. You're here today. He said, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. The plan of God, the plan of salvation, repentance, water baptism in Jesus' name and in filling of the Holy Ghost. If you're here and you don't know him, we plea with you, come to know him today. Tomorrow is not promised to anyone. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, great God. Hallelujah, he Jesus. He is working for our good. Thank you, Jesus. He is working for our good. Thank you, great God. These trials have come to make us strong. Though we don't see how they do. Let's think about it. When we may not understand. Hallelujah. We can place it in. For we know he's working all things together for our good. Together for our good. He Jesus is working. He is working for Hallelujah. our good. Hallelujah. He is working for our good. Thank you, Jesus. These trials have come to make us strong. Though we don't see how it someone that need a word of prayer it doesn't have to be seen in your life why you need a word of prayer you just need to be closer drawn to God hallelujah our visitors no one for prayer our altars are open don't live with a regret make it right now if you come we'll reach out we'll pray for you we have enough space here your situation, your circumstances. God is here to meet your need. God is here to meet your need. God is here to meet your need. There's a blessing in store for you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Hallelujah. Anyone else? God is searching somebody's heart right now. Don't leave the same way you came. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. You can place it in God's hands. Thank you, Jesus. For we know he's working on me. Together. Together for Thank you, Jesus. Good. Thank you, great God. He is working for us. Mighty our God. Good. Mighty God. He is working for us.
come to the altar today, whatever your situation, though you come for prayer, right? We want you to talk to God as if you are talking with your friend. Whatever your situation, an altar worker is praying with you, somebody is praying with you. You need to talk to God. Talk to Him. Talk to God. Talk to God. Reason. He said, Come, let us reason together. Whatever your situation, my sister, talk to God. Talk to Him. You may not know Him personally, but talk to Him. He will hear your prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, my sister, tears are a language God understands. Talk to Him. Talk to Him. Yes, Sister Clark, pray for her. Ah, yes, talk to God. You may not know Him. You may not know Him personally, but talk. He's there. He's there. He will hear you. Whatever your situation is, it a heart problem? Is it a financial problem? Talk to God. Talk to God, seekers. Talk to Him for yourself. As our brethren pray with you. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, great God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, let the purse fall. Let the purse fall on their behalf. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, great God. You're more real. Thank you, Jesus. The Hallelujah. Wind hey, Jesus. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
from making a decision to serve you. Lord God, remember those that are broken right now. But God, you said a broken and a scattered heart, God, you will not despise. God, strengthen the weak this morning, mighty God. Strengthen the feeble, mighty God. I pray, oh God, that you will have your way. God, remember those that are here today, those that are watching, God. They may not have one meal to go home to God, but I pray, God, you will provide for them. But God, above all, souls must be saved. For above all else, as the songwriter said, I must be saved. Lord God, break every fetter, break every chain this morning. Guide us, give us journey mercies, God, as we go to our several homes of aboard. Lord God, let your perfect will be done. Help us to walk in your stead, mighty God, and to live, God, the way you want us to live. Let your will be done in our lives, mighty God, as we say thanks in Jesus' name. And everybody say in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And you have said it, so you must believe it. God bless you this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.